Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to make some small stuffed meat rolls. My mother used to make these a lot and I have always made them. Uh, they're so nice to make, you can prepare them beforehand. Uh, I bought a packet of, uh, you know, that sizzle steak with the thin steaks you buy in the packet. It called, there's half a dozen of them in the packet in Coles, sizzle steaks. And I have banged them out a little bit to get it a little bit less. Now the stuffing is very simple, very easy. Uh, you have, I've got about a, a slice and a half of just bread and I've just crumbed it roughly, just crumbed it roughly. So what I've got here is about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. Uh, and I want to add about another couple of tablespoons of panko breadcrumbs, just add that to it. And parsley, we have a lot of parsley. I love my parsley through this, it's very, very nice. And look, and now just remix that all together, that parsley, that cheese and that bread. It's a very easy filling. And I'm going to add some salt, and salt and some pepper to it. That's all I need, that's all I need, and an egg. I'm gonna mix it up with an egg. They are very nice meat rolls, very easy. And just mix it up with one egg, put all that together, okay? And just mix that all together. We're gonna to stuff these up in the meat. It's just a lovely light stuffing, it's nothing very much, just that nice bread. I'm gonna put a couple of pieces of cheese in there. And I've got, I've made three and I've also got another three out of that packet. There were six slices in a packet of that sizzle steak. And just have to mix that all together. It's a, that's all, very nice. Now I'm going to put some in the center of it, like that. I've got some, a little bit of salt on that steak, not too much, and some pepper. And all the steak, put some nice pepper through it. You've got pepper and seasoning in the breadcrumbs, you don't need anything more. Okay, so now you get a bit of this stuffing and put it in the middle of these little meat slices. Don't, don't overdo it, just put enough that you can just... That's enough there. And now I'm going to put... I've got some little pieces of mozzarella cheese. Only a couple of little pieces. I don't I only want got three, three little pieces across there like that. Now we're just going to roll that up and I'm going to put it together with the toothpick. Just put it together with the toothpick and it'll stay. And I'm going to brown these and then I'm going to put them in a in a, a tomato sauce. There you go, just like that. Do another one. Put it together. Put that there like that, that lovely filling inside. You don't want a lot, just enough to, and put some cheese, little pieces of cheese in the middle of it. Okay, roll it up and put your toothpick on. Very simple, very quick. Just put it together like that. These are lovely. You can do them beforehand. You can prepare these up. You can brown them. I'm going to brown mine. I've got my pan on. And I'm, then I'm going to put them in some tomato, crushed tomatoes, okay? Look, I've got sufficient here. Uh, I have already gone ahead and did three. I, I've got enough here for six of them. That's why I've got this extra stuff in left over because I've done six of them. Just put that lovely stuff in through it, it, cheese and that egg, and just wrap it around like that. Very easy. And put your toothpick on and keep it together. Okay, so now we're going to, I've got some olive oil in the pan and I'm going to brown these. I'm just going to brown them, okay? There you go. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to make a tomato base. I've got a, crushed tom a can of crushed tomatoes and I'm just going to put a bit of salt in there and I'm going to put some pepper 
and a little bit of olive oil. Right? And I'm going to cook that while my, my mini uh, rolls are, are cooking. I'm going to cook this tomato just a little bit and then I'm going to put those rolls in the tomato and then I'm going to put a lid on it and just leave it there for about another 30, 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. And these will just brown nicely. Just brown them. Now we don't need them a lot. Just brown them. There you go. And then, and then you put them in this tomato base. Now what I've done is I've gone ahead and done mine. I'm going to show you what I've done. These are my mini meat rolls with the tomato and that's lovely. You put a lid on it. When you put it in the tomato, just put a lid on it and let it cook slowly for about another 30 minutes. They are cooking, they are browning up, they are browning up lovely. All you do is just brown them up. That's all you do, enough just to brown them up. And then you put them in this lovely tomato sauce. Crushed tomato, I got a tin of crushed tomato, put them in there. Now, this is what the end up, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> now this is what they are, this lovely stuffed mini big meat rolls. What I've done is, I'm going to have this as a nice meal. What I've done is, I'm going to show you, I've got some nice beans and some lovely boiled uh, potatoes. And what I do is I put a couple of these on the side like that. A couple of these on the side like that. Put some nice tomato on the top of that. And there you are, you've got a lovely meal. It's something different. They are very tasty. And that tomato on the top is beautiful. There you've got them. You've got a lovely meal of my little mini beef stuffed, uh, mini beef stuffed little rolls, okay? Look, they're a bit fiddly, but they're okay. They're not that bad to make, but you've got your bread, all your crumbs done up. And uh, then just roll them up and brown them, and then put them in, put them in a, a can of crushed tomatoes with a bit of salt and pepper and oil, and let them simmer slowly, put a lid on, and in 30 minutes they are done. So just brown them up like that. I have browned them up. I will put them in my tomato there. And then after we'll just cook them slowly. And there you've got these beautiful mini stuffed meat rolls. Okay. Uh, just, I hope you'll try them. Something different. I'm always trying to do something different. My mother used to do these a lot. And as I said, you can prepare them beforehand. Uh, and then or you can brown them beforehand and have them ready and then just put them in the tomato and with that salt and pepper and just put it through, put the lid on and let it cook slowly for about 30 minutes and you've got your vegetables and just put it like that and you've got a lovely meal. I've got my lovely beans, I've got my lovely potatoes and my two beef meat mini beef rolls and my tomato, that's lovely seasoned tomato on the top and which makes it really nice, okay? And just something different, a nice meal to have at dinner. Thank you for watching my videos. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye.